Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa game. And today we're going to be doing a qualifying run with the United States of America. I was going to do this gameplay for the 4th of July because it would have fit in with Independence Day. But then I got busy and everything like that. And I realized I was like, is it really that important to put out a USA gameplay? directly on the 4th of July not really I can do it whenever I want so these are the groups that the game wants me to do but obviously you know how it is we randomize the groups to find out our true group so in three two one boom and we're in a group with Jamaica Honduras and Trinidad and Tobago that's a little bit better that group and it's way more competitive as well. The other group was like Anguilla, St. Kitts and like Guatemala or something like that. I don't really want that kind of group. That would have been too easy. I like a challenge. So yep, Jamaica and Honduras and Trinidad, absolutely fine. So our first match is going to be against Honduras. And before we start, like I always show you on every single video I do on this game, it's on legendary difficulty because it is the best and most fun way to play these qualifying runs. Here we are then. We're at home on a very wet and probably windy day here in the United States for this one against Honduras. I'm hoping that it will be a good one. It could potentially be a bit of a banana skin for United States, this group. Not going to lie about that. You might be thinking, oh, Turbo Loco, come on. It's United States. But seriously, like, Jamaica are really good on this game. Like, they're really fast and they're just in your face constantly. I've done multiple qualifying runs in this region to know that Jamaica are like that. And Honduras are actually quite a good side on this game as well. It's a good chance for you know Honduras or Jamaica to get eliminated early on despite being I'd say the favorites or one of the favorites to get out of the group obviously United States are going to be the main favorite to get out of the group United States to my knowledge are one of the most or if not the most successful team in the gold cup competition in the CONCACAF region I'm not sure how many times they've won it but I imagine it's quite a lot by now I'd say USA and Mexico are probably the Biggest teams of this. Yes, there we go. And that's a goal. I was just about to say something, but Ching has interrupted me. And that is a goal for the United States in the 32nd minute. Good header. And it's a great goal for the United States. Good opening there. Great cross. And yeah, just got over our defender. Honduras keeper actually batted it into his own net. You can see from the replay there. So unlucky, but that is 1-0. I've heard a lot of United States fans um, sort of moan and uh, complain about their current coach. I think it was like, is it Beerhalter or Bearhalter? I'm not really too sure how to say it properly. But yeah, that is my knowledge on the United States <laughs> to this day. Um, so yeah, you can rip me a new one in the comments saying that I don't know ball or anything like that, you know. Crossed in, header, and that's a goal, yes, and Altidore has scored a header, that's two headers in this game, and that is 2-0 to the state, and we are flying in this first game against Honduras, look at that, over the top of that defender, they just can't deal with us in the aerial department, and yeah, we're looking good so far, 2-0 to the states, as we go into half time. Jamaica and Trinidad are having a decent game, it's 1-1 between those two, It'll all come down to, if the United States are feeling dominant, it'll all come down to second place. And I think it's going to be a super close battle between those three teams. Donovan, he crosses it in. And Altidore outheaded the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was ready for a catch. And usually in that situation, the goalkeeper always gets it. But Jose Altidore says, no, I'm an absolute beast. And that is 3-0. Oh, the goalkeeper didn't actually come ne near it because the defender got in the way. So that is really poor by the defender not to let the goalkeeper get it. Maybe it's on the goalkeeper as well. The goalkeeper didn't actually come forward and actually get that. And that's to Donovan. That was a really good ball. Fantastic ball. Donovan, that's four against Honduras. The United States are just absolutely dominant. And in the 73rd minute, Donovan has made it four. Brilliant. For a first game, you couldn't get more perfect than this. Here comes Boca Negra. And that's five. How did that even stay in the box? And I think that is Dempsey. Yep, yeah, Dempsey with a goal. That's 5-0. I took a random long shot with Boca Negra. The 
defender chested it to me and I just tapped it in. You couldn't get more of a better assist from Honduras there and that is 5-0. Absolutely crushing it here, United States. Absolutely crushing it. And that is 5-0 to the United States. What a performance that was. Five-star performance. Five goals in this one. Great way to start off the campaign. No goals conceded either. So even better. Really, really good stuff from Bob Bradley's men. Our second match is against Jamaica. This could be a tricky game because in the past, Jamaica has shown that they can control a game through speed and strength. They are a really good side. And we've done a qualifying run with them. Um, almost about a year ago I'd say now and if you want to check that out you're more than welcome to obviously stay on this video first but yeah no um, we're looking good with the United States but hopefully we can get another win here and extend our lead at the top of the table go on out to door oh that was kind of close it almost snuck its way in did that animation that I didn't really like where he falls over as he shoots Dribble here to Dempsey. This could be a good chance for a cross. Good cross. Header and what a goal. Dempsey to Altador combination at the moment seems super overpowered. And in the 25th minute, Altador scored another goal to make it 1-0 to the United States. At home against Jamaica, we are looking good. What a cross here by Dempsey. Really, really good cross. And just a bullet header. Like, honestly, Altador seems to be really good at headering. Jamaica through ball it to Shelton. Oh no. Speedy, fast. Can he finish it off? He has finished it off and that is 1-1. I told you at the start that Jamaica can do that. They caught me there. Really, really caught our defending. And that is 1-1. Good equaliser from Jamaica. Crossed in. Headed by Altador and he's done it again. Exploitable headering on this game by Altador and that is 2-1. Literally from the kickoff, I hoofed it over here to the corner. What a ball that was and a header catches Jamaica out again. I think teams are going to have to adjust to Altador, right? Because he is like the best person to head on the ball on the team. He just seems to be unreal at the moment. It's half time and the United States are leading Jamaica by two goals to one. It's looking good. Altador seems like the king of headering at the moment. And I'm loving that. I am really loving that. I didn't think, to correct me if I'm wrong, United States fans or any other fans of um, Altador, um, I didn't think Altador was that brilliant, really. Like, that remarkable in real life, right? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, in this one, he's been absolutely insane. He scored like maybe, I think probably like five goals already now. Jamaica cross it in, headed away, but it's gone straight to Jamaica and oh, that's a goal. That clearance wasn't very good and uh, Ricardo Gardner has scored to make it 2-2. What a game we have. Despite Outdoor's dominance up front, we are struggling in this one. That was a really, that was just a gift. That was just an absolute gift. I mean, if you're not scoring that, then you shouldn't really be playing football. Out to Dempsey. Can Altador get in the box, please? Header, and it, that was an Altador, so it didn't go in. We might draw against Jamaica here, which isn't the best result, but at least it's not a loss. I knew that Jamaica would be a potential game that we might drop. And we did gift them a couple of goals, really, in this one. We should have maybe won by, like, two goals to one or something. I know there's still time, even if it is just a small amount of time to get a winner. I don't know if this is going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it. A 2-2 draw against Jamaica. A bit of a wasted chance to extend our lead at the top of the table. But, again, Jamaica are decent. We all know that. So, okay, I'll take it. Just move on to Trinidad and Tobago. Our next match is away from home at Trinidad and Tobago. Another side that can be really good, especially with Kenwin Jones and Dwight York. Um, is it Jason Scotland? I think up top, he's a pretty good player. They've got some good players. We've done a run with them as well. Again, if you want to check it out, then you're more than welcome to. So, yeah. I mean, nothing is going to be super easy after Jamaica kind of brought us back down to earth after that massive result against Honduras. But at least we're still top by two points. And again, this is a good chance to extend that lead. Ching on the ball. 
to Altador. Skips that challenge. And what a goal that was. The way he skipped that challenge and got himself adjusted and slotted that in. Jose Altador scored again. And that is 1-0 to the United States early on. Look at that. Jumped over him or stumbled over him, should I say. And just tapped it in. Brilliant. Great start. Can we hold on to this lead now? This is what we failed to do against Jamaica. Through ball. Here comes Ching. Is he fast enough? Just slightly. Poked to Altador and that's a goal. That's a good assist and another goal for Altador. I was in two minds. I was like, should I pass it off to him or should I shoot with Ching? And I was like, nah, sweat it to Altador. And that should put up Ching's form as well, to be honest. That is 2-0 to the States. And that's going to be half time with a score at 2-0 to the United States. It's been really good performance so far. Trinidad and Tobago only really had one shot, which went over the bar. Nothing special after that. I just realised that guy in the background looks like Trent. He actually does look like Trent Alexander-Arnold, doesn't he? Every time I see him, I'm like, that looks like Trent. It's a free kick to the United States. Can we score from it? Dempsey? Oh, that was a rocket, but great save by Ince in goal. Crossed in by Trinidad and Tobago. Good cross. And off the post and in. Okay, well, that was a really decently worked goal. And um, Edwards has scored for Trinidad and Tobago. That's 2-1. Can we please not bottle this like we did against Jamaica? Go on over the top. Out the door. He's got it. Running. Is this a goal? No, it's not. Out the door. Can he finish the game off? Out the door puts it wide. And I think that's going to be full time anyway. With the score at 2-1 to the United States over Trinidad and Tobago. A harder game than expected. But a good result. Which will put us still at the top of the table. Ahead of Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. Okay so at the halfway point. This is how the group is looking like. The United States are top with 7 points. 0 losses. And um, 1 draw. Which was against Jamaica. Honduras have climbed their way back up to second, which is great considering that we thumped them 5-0. Jamaica and Trinidad level on points, but, but Jamaica have a better goal difference than Trinidad. So it's all to play for. Reverse fixture against Jamaica, this time away from home. Could be harder than the first fixture against them. They drew against us when they came to the USA. Now we got to show that we're the better team away from home. Dempsey turns in, crosses it in, header, oh, wide by Altador. The king of headering misses that chance. Oh, through ball, and here we go. It's Shelton. Can he score? He hasn't scored. How did that not go in? It rolled along the line, and wow, United States, you got so lucky there. Been a very awkward half here against Jamaica. We could have conceded, and we also could have scored as well, so... Again, it's just going to come down to really who has the perfect chance, I think. Crossed in and again headed away by Jamaica. And at half time, it is still nil-nil. Really tough game so far. But I'd like the three points just to make the last two matches a little bit easier for us. Crossed in by Jamaica. And that was a mistake by Howard. And that is 1-0 to Jamaica. It's Austin with the goal just after the halftime whistle. And that is 1-0. What was Howard doing there? That was a good cross to be fair. Because it really threw off all our defence. And Jamaica taking a 1-0 lead. Oh, poor ball. And good tackle. Come on, Howard. Get it. Don't let it go out for a corner. Actually run out and get it. What is wrong with the United States at the moment? Through ball. Out of door. Oh my good God. How are you not scoring that? How did that go miles out the stadium? United States here. What can they do to get this result in the bag? No. Oh. It just hasn't been our day. Away from home. We are struggling struggling and here comes Cummings he's just too quick this is what Jamaica do and ah oh, okay well that was lucky full time what a disaster a disaster away from home for the United States and we seem to be falling down a little bit falling down 5-0 at the start of the run and then somehow lose against Jamaica in the fourth match I'd have thought that I'd continue on that trend of you know, beating teams by like 5-0 and stuff. 
Look at Anguilla. 3-2 against Guatemala. That's insane. Our fifth match of qualifying is against Trinidad and Tobago. And if we lose this game, then the group is going to be super, super close and come down to the final game and for everybody. For everybody in the group. Let's just have a look and see if they come up the table. There it is. And that's how close it is. It's extremely close. USA should be somewhat running away with it maybe like with 10 points or 11 points but no we've just dropped crucial games against jamaica twice here comes ching again brilliant save header and it goes wide unlucky through ball it's ching i can't get it to oh i mean I, we just made a meal of that we just made an absolute meal of that out of door it's literally him and the goalkeeper. You have to score. Yes. Nice one out of door. Back on goal scoring form. And that is 1-0 to the United States. Up to out of door. Uh, somehow uh, we got a free kick out of that. And we're going to lay it off to Dempsey. Dempsey. Oh, just caught it. <laughs> like Dempsey has rocket shots. And Ince is just like, yeah, I'm just going to catch it. Over the top. Oh, what a ball that was by Donovan. And a great strike by Ching. And that is 2-0 before half-time. And you have to say that United States have one foot in the door for qualifying. For the next round anyway. Oh, taken away by Altidore. Horrible defensive mistake. Good save though. Goalkeeper's done well in this one to keep out United States. A lot of saves. But still his team are down by two goals to nil. He can't do everything. Oh no, oh that's going to be a penalty for Trinidad and Tobago. We just literally tripped them in the box. He went down and Kenwin Jones has the chance to score. Kenwin Jones saved at the legs, but oh, unlucky Howard. Saved with the legs, but Kenwin Jones scores and that is 2-1. Again, another situation against Trinidad and Tobago where they score quite late on and they're starting to creep back into the game. Trinidad and Tobago, five minutes left to maybe rescue something. But even a draw, I think, will let the United States qualify. But here comes Ching. He's running through. He hasn't got the best pace. But he taps it into the back of the net. And that is 3-1 and 100% game over. And that is qualification secured into the next round anyway. The next round, should I say. Not World Cup qualifying. Um, that is secured for the United States. Brilliant. Brilliant. We ended this one on a good note. We do have one more game after this and that's Honduras. But it won't have too much weight on it for us anymore. So United States have officially qualified into the next round with that result. All there is now is to try and play and beat Honduras. So good result for the United States. We did have a bit of difficulty with Jamaica in this video. But I respect that from Jamaica, you know. Or oh, watch out. Those guys are still sat there on the bench. I always love playing in the stadium. It's just so different from most of the stadiums in the game. And it always seems to be in the Central America region. Sort of like Panama, Honduras, uh, Guatemala. It's just a nice stadium. And it actually fits the sort of... Uh, country I guess of you know Honduras and Guatemala and stuff you know because the stadium does look like it's in that kind of area of the world crossed in and that's a goal for Honduras an early goal and that is 1-0 Suazo has scored in the third minute and that's 1-0 fair enough but why are United States so sleepy sometimes on defense it was a good strike to be fair like he got his foot up and it just came off the right angle of his boot and went into the bottom corner great goal for Honduras 1-0 oh good ball by Altador here comes Ching can he do it no but the rebound was kind and that's 1-1 now we're trying to spoil Honduras's party here as um we we're trying to spoil Honduras' uh, sort of qualification party which you know is I guess kind of evil of me, but at the same time, I need the form going in the next round. Jamaica are leading against Trinidad and Tobago by one goal to nil. So as it stands, Jamaica will be going through alongside the United States. 
Oh, good ball. De Leon is going through. Can he go through and score, perhaps? Honduras cross it in. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Jamaica have doubled their lead now. Honduras are in a bit of trouble. I think the news will filter through in the stadium and they'll be urging their team to go forward and press more. Into the middle. Ching. Can he do it? He scored and that's 2-1 and Honduras are in real trouble now. The United States have got the second goal that... Not what they wanted or needed, but, you know, it helps a form going into the next round of qualifying. We just need to win as many games as possible. Jose Altidore. He's just too strong, isn't he? And that's a goal. How did the goalkeeper not keep that one out? And that is 3-1. It's not looking good for Honduras now. The deficit is big. Jamaica are leading. And it could mean elimination in the first round of qualifying. Still time to get a comeback, but maybe not enough to get a win. Imagine if they did get a 4-3 win. That would be absolutely insane. I don't think they'll be going to... I don't think they'll be doing that in a hurry. And that's a sending off. I didn't realise that player had a yellow card to his name. Oh, no. That's just... It's just gone from bad to worse for Honduras. Through ball. Here comes Altidore. Can he wrap this game up? He has. It's 4-1. It's 100% over. And in about two games that we played against Honduras, we've actually scored nine goals against him over the two sort of games that we've had. And that's going to be it. Honduras have been eliminated from World Cup qualifying and Jamaica will advance alongside the United States. We have got El Salvador, United States, Costa Rica, Mexico, Jamaica and Panama in there. So... Quite a reasonably normal group, I'd say. Um, Panama getting in there is pretty cool. And El Salvador as well. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this first qualifying stage of the United States World Cup qualification on the 2010 World Cup game. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always. And I'll see you guys again for the next video.